Today is the National Day of Remembrance for Homicide Victims. Friends, family and advocates of murder victims gathered at the Utah State Capitol to remember those killed here in the state. Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tensor was there for tonight's candlelight vigil. She joins us now live from Utah's Capitol Hill. Emily. Bob Kelly, tonight's gathering was very emotional and very heavy, especially when you think about every person who was here at the state capitol tonight knew or loved somebody who died at the hands of another person. Now they pass out these red and black ribbons, which symbolize honoring those murder victims. The event was put on by the organization Utah Homicide Survivors. There was a very touching memorial display at the foot of the capitol steps where you could see the faces of those killed and learn more about who they were and what they loved. I spoke to the sister of Julianne Burns, who just last July was shot and killed by her boyfriend in Heber City. Her sister explained why it's so important to gather together and remember. To bring awareness to it and let people know that there's always somebody out there that can be there for you. You just have to ask for it and seek for it. And these things, they help. Families comforted one another during a candlelight vigil and a musical performance. A guest speaker shared her story about her brother's murder and how she advocates against gun violence in honor of him. Now, Utah Homicide Survivors is only four years old as an organization, and they joined together to provide hope and justice and healing for those families. But they also offer legal and social services as well as free group therapy sessions. Reporting live at the state capitol, Emily Tensor, Fox 13 News, Utah.